Graffiti street art is constantly evolving and street artists such as Jean-Michel Basquiat, he's an example, example of his work here, and Keith Haring, he's an example of Keith Haring's work, transformed their work into pieces that could be exhibited in galleries, moving graffiti artwork from vandalism to art. So people saw it more as art instead of just vandalism on walls. So in the early 1980s, a new stencil graffiti genre emerged. Um, Black Lorette created some of the first examples in 1981 in Paris, and we can see an example here. A few years later, stencils had appeared in other cities and, and other artists started to come about. So the, the people who really, really got graffiti um, moving from vandalism to art was Keith Herron and Jean-Michel Basquiat. So we're just going to do a little copy of Jean-Michel uh, Basquiat's work. Um, he's well known for using lots of different materials, so spray paint, paint, oil pastels. He would use anything that he could find. Um, Basquiat, he is a african-american and you can you can see that coming through in his work as well um he's inspired by the expressionists who we studied in year eight um, and we can see those simple geometric shapes inside his work where he's inspired by that art style so we're gonna have a little go at doing a copy you can choose either this one or you can choose this one um, and we're going to use color pencil and biro pen um, so I would start by just doing a background and then working on top of that. So I'm going to start off with my background colours. Um, but I'm going to use my colour pencils in a different way to what I would normally use them. So for the green up here, I'm just laying my colour pencil on the side. And I'm just lightly getting some markings. We don't have to be too neat with this. Um, but what we don't want to do is go too dark with it. If we go too dark with it then you're not going to see what you're putting on top of it. So I'm, I'm colour shading in one direction and then I'm going over in the opposite direction, which is not something that I would usually ask you to do. However, because this is graffiti artwork, there's a lot of sort of messy markings in the work. It's quite expressive. So I'm just blocking out where I can see these colours. Um, after I've done my drawings on top and I've finished the drawing, um, then I can start to make the colours a bit more accurate. So first of all, I'm just sort of <clears throat> mapping out where they go. Now at this point graffiti artists were using paint and spray paint quite a lot. So that would have probably been one of the main materials that Basque used. Right, now I've got those sort of um, background tones, I'm going to start to draw some of the main shapes that are in the work. Um, you can use a biro pen or if you've got things like fine liners that's fine or you can even use a black colour pencil, that's totally up to you. So you can be quite sketchy with this. I've started off light just while I'm sort of figuring out where stuff goes.
Perfect.